Buti na lang nandito kayo. You made the right decision na pumunta dito. You know why? Because the Lord is here right now. And gusto niya kayong mahalin ngayon. Ang tanong, ready ba kayo magpamahal? Amen. And if you are ready, come on, let's praise Jesus like we've never praised Him before. Come on. Let's jump. Your love was never far You made a way to get to me You are the whisper Leading me to your heart Forever I belong to you Now I can see clearly My God, you are for me You won't let go Your love won't let me down And I know it's true Yeah, I know it's true remember who we are in God. 
mean this world will label us for anything. They'll give us names, labels, identities. But ultimately, our identity is that we are a child of God. We are children of God. Amen. And so tonight, we worship with this truth. And as we do, we remember also who God is in our lives. How gracious, how loving, how faithful He has been in our lives. And because He loves us, we believe tonight that everything we need will come to us. Amen? Are you ready to be loved by God? If you are, let's come into prayer as we make the sign of our faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just lift your hands up to God. This is something comfortable for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We remember your love. We remember your faithfulness.
love na ba yan? Are you ready to be blessed by God's word tonight? Tonight, we have a good friend and preacher who will share God's message. And so with the love of the Lord, can we welcome Brother Drew Scotia. Good evening. Bago tayo magsimula, can we give the Lord a clap offering? Let's praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord God. Hallelujah. Sino say, oh, well, papakilala pala muna ako. Again, my name is Brother Drew Scosho. I'm a preacher, builder, and feast in SM Santa Rosa in Laguna. Sino sa inyo ang pagod tonight, taas ang kamay? Sino mga yung katabi mo, baka bang pagod na pagod yan? Obvious ba? Sino sa inyo ang reading ma-bless tonight? Taas ang kamay! Alam nyo ba ang taong handang ma-bless ni Lord masaya? Tinan mo nga yung katabi mo, mukhang nakangiti ba yan, nakatabi ka? Masaya ba yan? Share the happiness. Can I ask you to hold the hand of the person beside you? Sige lang, pakihawak lang. Hawakan mo lang. Sige lang, hawakan mo lang. Kahit basayang kamay na yan, hawakan mo. Sige, hawakan mo lang. Tingnan mo sa mata, sabihin mo sa kanya, friend. Ang ganda-ganda mo tonight. Ang guwapo-guwapo mo tonight. Ayan, di ba? Ang ganda mo tonight. Ang guwapo mo tonight. Ayan. Okay. Ano, wala na yung pagod nyo? Okay na yung pagod nyo? Tanggal na, tanggal na. Okay. Welcome to Breaking News, talk number five. The gospel, we have been talking about the good news. Can you say good news? Ang mga tao kapag umuulan, nag-aantay ng good news. Anong good news ang inaantay nyo? Hashtag? Hashtag walang pasok, di ba? Kaso lang, nagkatrabaho kayo eh, di ba? Mga immortal, di ba? Kaya sa mga sudyante, anong announcement daw? Let's flash it the screen. Announcement sa mga sudyante from Pag-asa, DepEd, and CHED to all students from preschool, grade school, and college levels. Study hard. Study hard. At para naman sa mga umaasang walang pasok ng mga naghahanap ng love life, nakalagay, walang kayo. <laughs> Grabe naman makaaray yung isa. Feelings in all levels shall be suspended according to your pag-asa. Paki-affirm ang katabi, sabi mo, friend, Sabi mo, friend, si Lord ang pag-asa natin. I don't know if it's, if it's your first time here in the feast or it's your second time, but whatever reason that you are here tonight, it is not, it's not an accident that you are here. God wants you to be here because God wants to love you. Amen? So tonight, we're gonna talk about the Gospel of John. We've been talking about the Gospels in the series. And ano bang ibig sabihin ng Gospel of John? Can everybody say John? Pakisabi sa katabi, John ka magaling. We're gonna talk about the Gospel of John. Ano bang ibig sabihin nito? Ano ba ang sinabi ni John according, according to him who is Jesus Christ to us? Are you ready? If you're ready, let's pray our favorite prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's all pray. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a love unto my path. We're going to start with three things that we need to know about the Gospel of John. Number one, John is different from the other Gospels, the other synoptic gospel, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Kakaiba si John. Ask me why. Because synoptic nga is S-Y-N together, optic one view. 
almost same era nung sinulat yung Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. John, his Gospel was written 20, 30 years after. And ibang-iba talaga sa kanya. If Matthew, Mark, and Luke, maraming parables, kay John walang parables. If Matthew, Mark, and Luke are talking about different miracles of Jesus, konti lang ang miracles sa kunento ni John sa story niya. For one simple reason, those people already read the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. So naiba, iniba niya. He wasn't talking about the history of Jesus, he was talking about the theology of Jesus. Kunento niya, alam niyo na si Jesus? So kunento niya kung sino ba si Jesus sa kanila, the theology of Jesus. Lesson, be different. Tell the person beside you, be different. In your life, be different, be unique. You have your mentors, you get inspired. But, alam nyo, ang, ang maling nabibigay na notion ng mga mentors is, be like me. No. Real inspiration is telling you, be like you. Be yourself. Be unique. Buti na lang iba. Because we've seen a different angle of who Jesus is because of John. If not, hindi kumpleto yung pagkakaintin natin kung sino si Lord. Number two, John's disciple wrote John. It was believed that the entire book of John, it was exhorted by the... John was a bishop, bishop of Ephesus. But who wrote it? Who transcribed it? Who finished it? The disciples of John. Buti na lang, may mga matinusang disipulo. Buti na lang, hindi, hindi selfish yung mga disciples niya. Why? They can write John and say, oh, this is the gospel according to me. But no, they honored their bishop. Sabi ni Bishop John, eto raw si Lord. So they wrote it. Lesson number two, make disciples. Can, can you kindly tell the person beside you, make disciples. Make disciples, why? Your greatest legacy is not your achievements, but the achievements of your disciples. Your greatest legacy is when you have friends, when you, soon you're gonna have your children who's following Christ. Selfless, carrying the values of following Jesus. Are you getting me? And lastly, John lets Jesus say who he is. He was reintroducing to the people who Jesus was. May problema in the time of John, 20, 30 years after. Ask me what? People were asking, who is Jesus? Kasi nabasa namin kay Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Jesus was this, Jesus was uh, this kind of God, and they were starting to believe that Jesus did not become man, Jesus was only a God. Naiba na ang translation. Sino sa inyo ang pag inaawit ang lupang hinirang umiiyak as ang kamay? Al- alam niyo ba yung lupang hinirang? Alam niyo, di ba? Umiiyak ba kayo pag kinakanta yun? Hindi. Why? Aba, national anthem lang naman sa akin yun. Tatayo lang ako. Tama, di ba? But it was known in the time of the soldiers after the war, every time lupang hinirang was being sung, they cry. Why? They were there. Are you getting me? So when every time they sing lupang iba, yung mag- umiiyak sila, naalala nila eh. Naiba na ang kwento sa atin. Naiba na. There was this one recollection, one retreat. Ang ganda pa, naiiba yung meaning eh. Sabi nung, nung facilitator, magpapalupang hinirang tayo, mag-national anthem tayo. Tinanong niya yung kasama niya, pare, meron ka bang CD? CD pa nung Arab eh. May CD ka ba ng lupang hinirang dyan? So, chinect niya. Ang simula ng lupang hinirang, drum roll, di ba? So, pag-check niya, play niya. Sabi niya, sir, meron. Play natin. Sige, play natin. Sabi nung, nung host ngayon, ng MC, Let's all stand as we sing the Philippine National Anthem. Rene nila. Happy birthday. <laughs> Naiba? <laughs> Naiba? Kindly tell the person beside you, Naiba? It happened. Buti na lang ang talino ng MC. Sabi niya, birthday po ng brother natin. Surprise! Meaning, na, min, minsan naiiba yung meaning ni, ni Lord sa atin. Are you getting me? Nagka-problema ako, ay, iba na si Lord. Hindi sinagot yung promotion ko, ay, naiba na si Lord. Nagkasakit yung magulang ko, ay, iba na si Lord. So, John, in the Gospel of John, he was letting Jesus say who he is. And seven times, so, seven times in the Bible, Jesus said, I am. 
In John chapter 6, verse 35, sabi ni Jesus, I am the bread of life. In John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. In John chapter 10, verse 9, I am the gate. In John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26, I am the resurrection and the life. In John chapter 14, verse 16, verse 6 to 7, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And in John chapter 15, verse 5, another, I am, sabi ni Jesus, I am the vine, you are the branches. My dear friends, I don't know where you came from, from your work, from school, bahay, o kung ano pinanggalingan mo, galing ka ba sa sama ng loob, galing ka ba sa inis, galing ka ba sa pagod, o galing ka sa blessing. But take note, Jesus wants to be known. Who are we para lumapit sa atin ang isang Diyos at magpakilala sa atin? Alam niyo ba kung ibig sabihin nun? Importante ka. And even up to now, God continues to introduce Himself to you. Maybe we're not just listening. Listen to, your, listen to the pains of your heart. Listen to your prayers. God is telling you, I am your provider. Is there someone sick in the family? God is telling you, I am your healer. Are you waiting for your promotion? Let me be the one who promotes you. Are you waiting for your blessings? God is telling you, let me bless you. Because I am your God. God wants to be personal with us. God wants to be personal with you. So before we sit down, can you just high five more than five people? Say, so God is into you. 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 Can you put your hands on your chest and pray with me? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for being so into me. You are my God, my Father, my Provider, my Healer, my Lover, my Creator. My Savior. Tonight, I open my heart to you, to your wonderful word. Bless me and let it not just stay in me, but allow me to be a blessing to the world around me. Amen. So I have fun to my feet in the light unto my path. Let's give the Lord a clap offering for His word. You can take your seats and tell the person beside you, get ready to be blessed. God is into us. God is into you. Um, I want to give the entire message of this. God is chasing you. God is loving you. God is lahat-lahat na. Sino sa inyo ang gustong pumunta sa langit, taas ng kamay? Alright. Yung iba ayaw? Sino ang gustong pumunta sa langit tonight? <laughs> sa may babae, no? God gives us a gift called eternal life. Can you say eternal life? In John chapter 17, verse 3, in the Gospel of John, John is introducing, introducing who Jesus is to us. Ang sabi niya, an eternal life means to know you. Can you say no? Eternal life is not just when you die. Eternal life is not when you die and then, and then you rise and then you go to heaven. Eternal life means to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ whom you sent. So what kind of knowing is eternal life? What kind of knowing? Sino sa inyo ang nakakakilala kay President Duterte? Taas ang kaban. Ayan. We know our president. And he, saan siya galing na part ng country? Sa Davao. Davao, di ba? And sabi nga nila, just like in Davao, there's this fruit called durian. May, meron taong, taong ayaw ng durian, meron taong gusto ng durian. In the same thing, may taong gusto kay President Duterte, may taong ayaw sa kanya. Why? We know him. He's the president. We know him what he does. But we really don't know him because we don't spend time with him. Are you getting me? In the same way, 
Catholics, Christians, we know Christ from school, we know Christ from the sacraments, we know Christ in Mass, but is Christ personal in us? Do we really, really, really know Christ? That's what the Gospel of John is all about. He's telling us, kilala mo ba talaga si Lord sa buhay mo? Tinan mo nga yung katabi mo. Sige, pagbasda mo yung mata ng katabi mo. Pagbasda mo lang. Mukha bang gawa ni Lord yan? Mukhang gawa ni Lord? Okay. Tingnan mo yung ilong niya. Sabi ko, tingnan lang, wag pagtawanan. <laughs> Even the devil knows Jesus Christ in James chapter 2. Do you believe that there is only one God? Good. The demons also believe and tremble with fear. But God wants to be known. God wants to be intimate with you. God wants to be personal with you, not just knowing by mind. He wants you to be known by heart. Are you getting me? This is the kind of knowing that Christ wanted us to have. In Genesis chapter 4 verse 1, Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain. In other words, the kind of knowing that John wants us to have is the knowing that bears fruit. In other words, namumunga. Grabe to knowing na to. Adam knew Eve and she bore a son. The kind of knowing that John wanted us to have is when we know Christ, mamumunga tayo. Kindly shake the shoulder of the person. Sabi mo sa kanya, friend, manganganak ka na. Mga anak ng blessings. Amen? The kind of knowing is, the kind of knowing that John wanted us to have is for us to bear fruit. Hindi lang yung, I know Christ. But do you really personally know Christ in your life? Knowing God isn't about comprehension, but connection. Not about intelligence, but intimacy. God is so into you. Alam nyo ba yun? Na experience yun na ba na hinabul kayo? Sino sa inyo ang hinabul na dito? Taas ang kamay. Nag-isip o, sige, specific tayo. Hinabul ng aso. Hinabul, hinabul ng pabo. O, alam nyo ba na nga habol ang pabo? Yun yung, di ba yung malaking, parang malaking manok? Yung akala nyo very, ano, very innocent? Pag nakikita ka, bumubo. <laughs> Nangahabol yun. Hinabol ng ipis. Meron ba dito? Ha! Ang tatapang nyo sa ipis, makakita kayo ng ipis, chinilas. Pag lubipad naman yung ipis, uy! Takot kayo sa ipis, di ba? Hinahabol tayo ng Diyos araw-araw. God is into you. He wants to be intimate with you. Ang tanong, nagpapahabol ba tayo sa Kanya? What kind of intimacy? In the Bible, in the, in the Gospel of John, there's this phrase, this very amazing phrase, seven times or nine times it was mentioned in the Gospel of John, it says, the disciple whom Jesus loved. The disciple whom Jesus loved. Now, when you are asking, sino tong disciple na to that Jesus loved? Di ba napasin niya, pag binasin yung Gospel of John, the disciple whom Jesus loved. And many were asking, who is this disciple that Jesus loved? First answer, sabi nga natin, John. It was the Gospel of John. People were asking, is this Lazarus? Is this Peter? But let's, let's go back to history. John was the bishop of Ephesus. Another after niya, si St. Polycarp. After niya, si St. Irenaeus. I-flash natin that. The St. Irenaeus heard it from St. Polycarp. Ang galing, no? Kaya ang sarap ng buhay katoliko kasi ang kasama natin sa mga first bishops natin, mga apostles talaga ni Lord eh. Narinig ni St. Irenaeus kay St. Polycarp na sabi daw ng kanyang bishop, this is Bishop John, that I am the disciple whom Jesus loved. Ang sarap lang, no? Pwede naman lahat ng apostles. Totoo naman, minahal ni Lord, di ba? Pero ang sarap lang, in niya, who are you? I am the disciple that Jesus loved. But answer number two is for me, Mas pasok sa atin. Are you ready? The second answer is this. You are the disciple that Jesus loved. Pakigising yung katabi mo. Sabi mo, friend, ikaw yun. Ayan, di ba? 
You are the disciple that Jesus loved. Kaya daw nilagay na blank yun. Who are the, who's the disciple? You. You are the disciple that Jesus loved. And if, if you have this intimate relationship with Jesus, it is giving us three truths about the Gospel of John. Number one, truth number one, God always makes the first move. That's why it is written, the disciple whom Jesus loved, not the disciple who loved Jesus. Si Lord ang unang tumakbo, siyang unang nagmahal, siyang unang gumalaw. Are you getting me? Sige nga, sabi sa katabi mo, friend. Narinig mo yun? Ayan, sige. Let's go back to that story wherein Jesus was approaching someone getting a, 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 a water from the well, the Samaritan woman. Jesus approached this woman. No one's approaching this woman. And the woman wasn't offering a drink to Jesus. Sinong unang lumapit? Si Jesus. He always makes the first move. And He blessed this woman. He, he allowed this person to be an evangelizer. Siyang unang kumilos, siyang unang gumalaw. Another example, there was this adulterous woman, pinadala kay Jesus na ganyan, babatuhin daw, di ba? Patayin natin yan kasi adulterous yan eh. Anong ginawa ni Jesus? Nagsulat sa baba, tapos pinatawad niya. Question, Pumingi ba na forgiveness yung babae? Hindi. Who offered forgiveness? Jesus. Who made the first move? Jesus. That's why when people say, how can I forgive that person? He's not even apologizing to me. One can never deserve forgiveness. That's why forgiveness is called mercy. Mercy. It's called mercy. Again, I just want this to be inside of us right now. Kindly, again, alugin mo yung katabi mo, sabihin, friend, magpatawad ka na. Sa kabila, hawakan ng maigi. Hawakan mo, diinan mo. Sabihin, friend, magparaya ka na. Another story. Jesus washed the feet of the disciples, of the apostles. Nag-offer ba ng, ng, ng hugas ng paayong mga apostles? No. Jesus was the one who offered, let me wash your feet. Tumanggi pa sila. What's the story again? Jesus always makes the first move in our life. He always does. The problem with us is, kala natin siya tayong una, tapos again at tayo si Lord. Again, in one of epistles of John, nakalagay doon, we love Him because He first loved us. Siya ang nauna, hindi tayo. The problem with us Catholics is because in the Old Testament, we need to sacrifice bago tayo patawarin ng Diyos. And so we think, I need to be good first. But in the New Testament, God became the sacrifice. He made the first move. Are you getting Are you getting the lesson of the story? He's into us. He's into you. Malimod mo na lahat, maalala mo lang si Lord, ang unang lumalapit sa'yo. Hinahabol ka niya everyday. Number two, only you can make the second move. Only you can make the second move. That's truth number two. God makes the first move. Who makes the second move? Tayo. Sino sa inyo ang naglalaro ng chess? Konti lang, konti lang. Nakakita na ng chess. Aya, mas madami nakakita ng chess. Kaya mo bang maglaro ng chess mag-isa? Ang hirap, no? Ang hirap talunin ng sarili mo. Napansin mo, first move. Ang hirap na sa mo. Mas tatalunin mo yung sarili mo, di ba? Hanggang magkakaubos, ang galing, ang galing ng kalaban ko. Ang hirap niyan. Why? In the game, God makes the first move, but we need to make the second move. Our entire Christian life is simply a big thank you to His unconditional love. Bakit mo gusto mag-serve? Bakit mo gusto magbigay? Bakit mo gusto magdasal? It's because you are responding to His love. Are you getting me? Are you responding to His love? Are you ready to respond to His love? Yes? Really? Sige lang ah. Tanongin mo nga yung katabi mo. Sabi mo, handa ka ba magmahal? Handa? Handa ba yung katabi mo? O, sagutin mo. Sagutin mo. Hawakan ng kamay. Sige lang. Ito, importante ito. Hawakan ng kamay. Again, kahit basayan, hawakan mo lang yung kamay niyan. Sabi mo, friend, handa ako magmahal. Mamaya, libre kita. 
Ano? Ayaw na nung isa. Bukas na lang, brother. Our entire Christian life is about loving God back. Why do we serve? Sino unang kumilos? Sino susunod? Ayaw. Lord, di mo naman ako mahal. Sabi ni Lord, ginawa ko, na yung, ginawa ko yung move ko for you. Ikaw naman. Ikaw naman. Tell the person beside you, ikaw naman. The Gospel of John, the disciples of John was summarizing everything they learned about their bishop. And he was t- they were telling the truth. They were introducing Jesus to them. Why? Naiba na yung nila kay Jesus. Naiba na. And, Jesus, and John was reintroducing, I am the bread of life. I am the gate. I am the vine. I am always making the first move in your life. Ang simple ng message, no? Sana ganun din kasimpleng isa buhay paglabas natin ng lugar na tumamaya. May problema ka paglabas mo? Isipin mo na una ang Diyos gumalaw sa'yo. Number three. God wants a fantastic friendship with you. Do you know the reason why God made the first move and asks you to make the second move? Ask me why. Because He wants to have a fantastic relationship with you. No movement from us, no relationship. Napansin nyo sa ligawan? Kailangan pag niligawan ng isa, magpapaligaw din yung isa kung gusto niya. Kung gusto niya. Tama, di ba? Bakit? Kahit gusto mo, pero hindi ka nagpapaligaw, may nangyayari? Wala. Di ba? Sabi ko nga, kapag ang lalaki nagsabi ng intensyon sa babae, binapakuran niya na yan, di ba? Gusto mo, wala kang kaagaw. Ang tawag dyan, saving. Kapag gumastos ka na sa date, ang tawag dyan, investing na ang tawag dyan. <laughs> nag invest ka na. Sa ligawan na yan, nililigawan tayo ng Diyos araw-araw and He's waiting for you to move. Why? He wants to have a relationship with you. What kind of relationship? In John chapter 15, verse 15, I no longer call you servants. Ang galing, no? Because a servant does not know his master's business, instead I have called you friends. Ang sarap. Pag pinakilala, alam mo, pag Napansin niyo ba pag pinakalaki sa office, sa office yung sa friends niyo? Ay nga pala si Drew's office mate ko. Okay. Pero iba, o nga pala si Drew's friend ko. Iba, di ba? Students. O nga pala, classmate ko. Okay, classmate. Pero pag pinakilala ka, o nga pala, friend ko. Iba. Iba, di ba? Kaya yung mga iba, mga naging, naging magjowa, proud na proud, di ba? O nga pala, girlfriend ko. Boyfriend ko. Ang sarap pag tinawag na friend, hindi lang servant. Imagine this, your boss or the president of your company introduces you to someone and you're not just an employee to that person. Nga pala, my friend. Ang sarap, di ba? Rubbing elbows with the big guy. And that's what God is telling us. Make the second move. Why? You're no longer servants. I call you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. Jesus is creating a relationship not just like a Santa Claus or a teddy bear. Nakakita na kayo yung Santa Claus? Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Tingnan mo lang kung nakakita siya. Ito naman eh. Alam mo, iba ka sa WFFA, no? Nakakita na kayo Santa Claus? Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Ang tingin sa... sa tiyan tumingin eh. Teddy bear. Nakakita na kayo teddy bear? Tingnan ulit ang katabi. Mukha ba ang teddy bear yan? Sabi mo sa kanya, friend, ang cute mo. Jesus wants to have a relationship that more than pakit lang. Ayaw niya ng chummy-chummy relationship lang. Do you know what kind of relationship? Ask me what. There was this there was this kid who was praying. Pinakinggan, pinakikinggan siya ng tatay niya. Sabi ng bata sa prayer niya, Good night, mommy. Good night, daddy. Good night, lola. Goodbye, lolo. Goodbye, lolo. 
nagulat siya. The following day, nawala si Lolo. Gulat yung tatay. Another, another evening, nagpe-pray na naman yung anak niya. Sabi ng tatay niya, naku, yari tayo dito. Nagpe-pray na naman, Good night, mommy. Good night, daddy. Goodbye, Lola. The following day, nawala si Lola. Sabi ng daddy, kaya tayo dito. Dalawa na lang. Ito na. Gabi na, nakaabang si daddy. Good night, mommy. Goodbye, daddy. Si daddy di nakatulog. Di talaga siya nakatulog. Talaga hindi. Ang damag. Gising siya. Sabi niya na mangyayari sa akin. Baka mawala ako. The following day, namatay yung driver. <laughs> yung, yung hindi pa nakakuha, makukuha niyo rin yan. Sige lang. Gagapang nga dyan. Aabot na dyan. Sigurado ako. Aabot na dyan mamaya. <laughs> okay na? Na-process na? Na-process na? The kind of relationship that Jesus wanted us to have is more than life. In John chapter 15, verse 13, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. That is the gospel of John, my dear friends. It's telling you who Jesus is, is a friend who died for you. Is a lover. When the world asks, do you really love these people? Yes, I am willing to die. Sino pumatay kay Jesus? Siya ba? Si Lord ba? Hindi. Tao. Ginusto niya ba yun? Hindi. Tao. Bakit? Natakot sila, insecure sila eh. Mga, mga tao ng araw eh. But Jesus died even for those people who crucified Him. Are you getting me? That's the kind of love that Jesus gave. It is the kind of God that John was introducing to the gospel. He was telling everyone, you, me, he's telling us, God made the first move. So tell the person beside you, God made the first move. To keep a relationship alive, both individuals have to die daily. That's what happens. Married couples, I'm married, and we die every day for each other magsasakripisyo ka para sa taong mahal mo. Parents die every day for their children. Yes? That's what we do. Kilala niyo si Pope Francis? Sino nakakilala kay Pope Francis? Taas ang kamay. Ayan. Sa hindi, ay ayan siya ha. Pakilala ko sa inyo. What if one day, Pope goes to the Philippines, tapos kumatok sa bahay mo? Kumatok sa bahay mo, kasi... Pagbukas mo ng pintuan, talaga ba, nag, ay, si Pope, what will you do? What will you do? Or what if may gate yung bahay mo, kumakatok siya, tang, 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 pag, pagbukas mo ng pintuan, si Pope na doon sa, 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 sa labas, di ba? What will you do? Magugulat ka, di ba? Ay, ginagawa ng Santo Papa dito, di ba? And then Pope tells you, can I enter your house? Papasukin mo? Yes. Papasukin mo si Pope. And then, when the Pope tells you, can I have breakfast with you? Will you? Yes. Eh, wala kang handang breakfast. Tubig lang. Sabi ni Pope, let's have fasting today. As nag-enjoy ka, talagang ikaw, habang, habang umiinom ng tubig, ang santo papay ko, naka, ah, Pope, ikaw nga ba yan? Mangyak-ngyak ka na, di ba? Tapos sabi ni Pope, can we be friends? What will you say? Yes. And then, umalis si Pope, sabi ni Pope, pupunta na ako balik sa seminar ko. Meron akong talk sa isang simbahan. Siya, tumantuwa ka ngayon. Kunenta mo sa kaibigan mo ngayon. Nagkita kami ni Pope, pumunta sa bahay namin. Hindi na niwala. Bakit? Wala kayong picture. Sa sobrang busy nyo, wala kayong picture ni Pope. But then Pope wrote a letter to you after one month. Hi, that's name mo. Hi, Christine. Hi, Carlo. Hi, Mark. And hi, ganyan, di ba? How are you? Things are okay here. Di ba? Tapos, tumantuwa ka. Pero hindi ka nakapag-reply. Bakit? Kasi bigla meron kang exam. Naging busy ka. 
Okay lang. Pero proud ka ngayon, bakit may letter ka na ni Pope? Pwede mo na pakit sa classmates mo, sa kaibigan mo, letter ni Pope. <laughs> diba? Then the other month, nag-message naman si Pope, hi, ganyan, may FB messenger pa. But then again, you were so busy, hindi ka nakareply. Year passed by. Hi, ganyan pa, ganyan, how are you? I've been writing to you for months already. I hope everything is okay. But then something happened. Nagka-girlfriend, boyfriend ka. Hindi mo na-reply na naman si Pope. And years and years followed. Nagka-asawa ka na, nagka-anak ka na, lahat na. Hindi mo na na-reply si Pope, but the Pope keeps on messaging you. Question. Are you still friends with the Pope? Yes. But are you growing your relationship with the Pope? No. Why? God makes His move every day. But we need to make our move every day too. Hindi pwedeng isang yes lang. Lord, na guess na ako sa'yo last year. Okay na yun. Kailangan every day, you say yes to His love every single day of your life. Kaya hindi mo pwede sabihin na, ang takal ko na sa ministry. Mas mabait ako sa Kanya. Why? Pag gising natin umaga, kung yung isang tao na say yes kay Lord, sabay lang tayo nag yes today. Kaya walang ano, walang walang posisyon, walang level ang ang holiness ni Lord sa atin. Are you getting me? Every day nagre-recommit tayo ng yes sa kanya. He makes the first move every day. Let's all stand. I'm about to wrap the message. And I have a question for you. What label do you give yourself? Anong label nga bang binibigay natin? May mga ibang label na Titles. Ano yung mga titles natin? Engineers. CPA. MD. Ano yung, mga, ano, ano, ano yung MD? Medical. Doctor. Pwede na namang mukhang doktor. ba? Yung ibang label nila, NBSB. Alam niyo NBSB? No boyfriend since birth. Yung iba naman, ang label nila, bank account nila. What's your label? I'm a millionaire. What's your label? I'm a billionaire. What's your label? I'm a thousander. What's your label? I'm a hundreder. Diba? Nakapanood na kayo ng horror. Diba nakakatakot, no? Yung pag binubuksan mo yung wallet mo, ha? Nangyari! Diba? Nakakatakot, no? What label do you give to yourself? Yung ibang label nila, status nila, single, married, in a relationship engaged it's yan yan it's complicated can I, can we have a, a new label in our life every day are you ready when someone asks you who are you what's your label in your life maybe you can say i'm a student maybe you can say i'm married maybe you can say ah i'm a thousander i'm a hundreder but your first and foremost label is this. You are the disciple whom Jesus loved. You are the disciple whom Jesus loved. God is into you. God is into you. Sobrang into, into us, si Lord. You're asking, Lord, May sakit ako, Lord. May sakit yung magulang ko, Lord. May sakit yung kapatid ko. I thought you made the first move. God gave us our immune system, first and foremost. He made the first move. Lord, may dreams ako, hindi ko pa maabot. I thought you made the first move. God placed those dreams in your heart. God gave you the opportunities. God already placed all the blessings around you waiting for you to move, to get it, to manage it. God made the first move. Lord, I'm having a hard time in my life. I thought you made the first move. God gave you the breath of life. He made the first move. All throughout our life, it is God who is making the first move in our life. When we go out of the cinema, I am asking you to make this your 
your oxygen that every day God is making the first move in your life. So when you go out there, balik ka sa trabaho mo, balik ka sa problema mo, balik ka sa kung ano mang iniisip mo, ngiti ka lang, then inhale, God made the first move. Because that is the gospel of John. He is in to you. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. Let's come to the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you for everything you've done in our life. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord God, for choosing to introduce yourself to us every day. Lord, some of us, pagod na pagod sa trabaho. Some of us, galing sa school. Some of us, Lord God, masaya naman kami sa labas, pero malungkot sa bahay. Some of us, Lord, are having health problems. Some of us, Lord, kakapromote ko lang. Yung iba sa amin, Lord, kakakahanap ng trabaho. But Lord, with everything that is happening in our life, may we never forget that you had always made the first move. And Lord, at times, people around us, they make their move. Pero napapagod din sila. And ask us to make the first move. Pero Lord, ikaw araw-araw, ikaw ang unang kumikilos, unang nagmamahal, unang nagpatawad. So our response today, Lord God, is to make our move. Tonight, we're going to make our move, Lord Jesus Christ, to declare that we are yours. We allow ourselves to be yours. Brothers and sisters, we're going to sing a song to God. If you haven't sang a worship song before to Him, sing from your heart, from your soul, use your mouths your heart tonight make it the response to him and allow a miracle to happen when you allow God to love you maybe it's been a while God wanted to bless you he's waiting for you to make your move let's sing this song to him let's all lift our hands to him let's offer our hearts to him as we sing this song to him oh Lord my
whatever situation you are in right now, the Lord wants to be a part of that. He wants to be a part of you. And He has great plans for you, even better than the plans that you have for yourself. It's just God. It's just who He is. Brothers and sisters, the Lord created the universe. He created the galaxies, the planets, hundreds of billions of stars, hundreds, thousands of light years away from each other. Can you imagine how big is that? And God is roaming around. He's everywhere. He's really big. In fact, He's, he's not just big. He's more than big. He's more than huge. He's more than enormous. He's more than words. So Lord, we tonight we want to surrender everything that we have. Every part of us. Lahat ng part namin na tinatago namin sa Lord, we offer it to you. And we give it to you right now. Because you are in this place. And we honor you. And we worship you. Because you are a powerful God. And you are a wonderful God. Yes, you are. We praise you.
Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being so into us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for making the first move. Brothers and sisters, I ask you to bring out your novena to God's love if you have it with you and lift it up. If you don't have one, but you have a prayer right now, let's lift our hands as a sign of surrender to Him and pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender to you all of my dreams, dreams you've placed in my heart. Lord, I trust in your will. Lord, I trust in your ways. Lord, I trust in your Lord, I trust in your loving grace. Lord, I trust in your loving grace. And I thank you in advance. Because I know out of your love for me, I will receive the best version of my dreams. It will not just bless me, but it will also bless the world around me. And Lord, as one family here in Wednesday Feast Alabang, we pray for the prayer requests of our brothers and sisters, those who are praying for healing from a broken heart, for healing from cancer, liver problems, physical and emotional pains. Lord, if there's a person, a friend right now in the hospital or at home who's sick, we pray for your healing. Lord, we pray for forgiveness of oneself and others. For guidance to pass the civil service, CPA, and ECE board exams. For blessings in business and career. For guidance in decisions. For financial provisions. And Lord, we want to thank you for all the blessings you've given us. Lord, mas malaki ang mga biyaya. Salamat sa good relationships with family and friends. Successful medical operations of a loved one. Safety and protection in travels of a new God. For friends who listen and understand. For the successful launch of Peace Baguio, for God's blessings and love, Lord, for the gift of life, for what you have done and what you are about to do in our life, we give our praise, our thanksgiving, our worship. It's all for you, Jesus Christ. Let's live our presence. Let's work with Him. In Jesus' name, Amen. You have no right. offering praise and kindly hug someone or shake the hand of that friend sabi mo sa kanya god is so into you 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 you can take your seats for quick announcement Take these quick announcements. First, let me want to acknowledge all the first timers here in the feast. So can, can can we ask all those who are first time to please stand? Yeah, please stand. We want to acknowledge you. Yeah, please stand, please stand, please stand. We want to acknowledge you. Let's give a clap offering to our first timers. Ganon kami ng regalo sa inyo. Bumulakin upo ah. After the a feast, the feast please approach up. I welcome to first timers there. Sa likod, we have a gift for you. 
Meron ba kaming first gift or gift of love or gift of prayer? But before we give the gift, can everyone can be welcome? Them can you say, welcome home. One, two, three, go. Welcome home. Ayan, welcome home. Welcome. Make this your spiritual home. Let's extend our hands to our first timers. Let's pray for them. Lord, thank you for the gift of these people who are first time to attend the feast here in Festival Mall every Wednesday night. It is not an accident that they are here today. Maybe some of them got invited. Maybe some of them just knew about this place. They are here tonight because you want to bless them. Lord, we surrender to you all of their dreams, all of their prayers. And Lord, surprise them this week. May this week be the best week of their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Ayan. Thank you for coming. You can take your seats and see you again next week. We also want to thank those who invited the first timers. Thank you for being a feast ambassador. Meron pa kaming gustong patayuin. Sino ang celebrate ng birthday for the month of September? Ayan. Tayo lahat ang mga nag-birthday September. Lahat ang mga September. Ayan, no? Woo! May pa-cake. <laughs> lahat ang tumayo sa tabi mo, sabi mo, Happy Birthday! Ah, birthday nyo. Nakala nyo, kailang? Wait! Meron ba dito na celebrate ng wedding anniversary ng September? Meron ba dito? Wedding? Ta- di, tayo lang yung mga birthday, ha? Tayo lang. Ay, wedding, wedding. Kaway nga. Meron ba? Kaway, kaway, kaway. Meron din. Can, can we greet them? Happy anniversary! Ayan, meron. Lininaw ko lang, ha? Anniversary, hindi po monthsary na mga magjowa. Ayan, okay? Let's extend our hands to our birthday celebrants and to those who are celebrating their anniversaries. Lord, we pray for those who are celebrating their birthday this month. This is, Lord God, their birth month. We pray, Lord God, that you hear their birthday prayers. Bless them. Guide them. Lord, may this year be their banner year. Thank you for the gift of life. And we also pray for those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries. We pray that you continue to be the center of their married life, of their family life. We pray for health, wealth, love, and long life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Happy birthday and happy anniversary. Lastly, um, Brother Jay will be back next week. So, na miss siya. You'll start a new series next week. It's going to be a great, great, great series. It's called Bleadership. It's how to lead your life. So, we're in leadership, a sacrifice. So, be here next week. Bring more friends. And also, we want to acknowledge that tonight we have 493 attendees. Ayan. Let's give the Lord a clap of friends. Thank you so much for allowing me. God bless. Let's give a big hand to Brother Drew. Praise the Lord. Thank you for sharing God's word. All right, brothers and sisters. So we just have a few announcements for all of you. So first announcement is malapit na ang most awaited event of the year na Peacers. Are you excited? No, so we have a video. Let's watch. is a concrete platform where you can really see that you are helping a lot by giving what you have. Maganda rin kasi mo yung affiliated with you with my handles. Kasi yung reputation namin na sa business, magiging good siya. But it's for growth and for your company, for yourself, and also for your faith. Then it's all worth it. There are so many attendees and the exposure was so nice that I'm sure people will have known more about our brand as well. It warms my heart to see people touched by the Filipino conference every single year. And I feel part of it being a partner of the Filipino conference. is we have um, the Singles Adventure Camp. So, hindi lang pala yung youth yung may camp, pati yung singles! Alright, so, uh, it's gonna be held on September 29 to 30 at Tanay Adventure Camp, Tanay Rizal. So, investment fee is gonna be 1800 per person. So, if you're interested and if you want to join, please contact Miss Gladys Francia. There's her number. 
And may flyers po tayo doon kay Ate Mai Escolano. So if you want to join, feel free to sign up and fill up the forms. Okay? Next is the Love Live Retreat Batch 17. So it's gonna be held on October 6 to 7 this year, of course, at St. James Retreat House, Tagaytay. Um, so the fee will be 3,000 pesos per person. And if you're interested, if you want to join, please contact um, Mark Nuki. So this is gonna be life changing for all the single people out there. Next is the I Gift Club. Currently, they have 143 members. So I Gift Club, it helps the feast, the ministries um, survive on our own, um, help with their financial needs. So if you want to join, um, feel free to approach them at the back. They have their own table at the back. And for those of you who would like to be prayed over, there will be a prayer over uh, ministry over there. So feel free to approach them. All right. Amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Come on. Blessed. And let's all stand up for our giving. Can I invite you all to stand up? Were you blessed tonight? Are you ready to give for God? Yes. Let's lift up our love offerings and we pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that we get to be in your presence. We love who you are, God. And we love who you are in our lives. Lord, we thank you that we get to give tonight. Lord, bless this offering. Lord, it may be small, but I pray that you do great things with this offering. Lord, bless me in every aspect of my life. And I give this to you with a joyful heart, with a heart that's full of thanks and gratitude. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come in front and give your love offerings to God and let's worship Him one more time. Come on! Hands together, everybody! When I was searching, your love was never far. And when it gets me, you were the whisper leading me to your heart. Forever I belong to you. No, I my God, you are one.